Hello, this is Eric with DIY Guitar Pedals, and today we're going to talk about the Meat Grinder Fuzz PCB project. This is our take on the Univox Super Fuzz. Um, we did take some ideas that we saw from the Boss FC2 when making this, but the base of the circuit is around the Univox. So instead of having the two knob and one switch set up that we have with the original Univox, uh, we opted for a four knob straight design. Uh, also, we we're using silicon uh, transistors and silicon diodes as opposed to anything that's germanium. The diodes that we recommend in this case though will be shocky diodes because we are looking for something that has a very uh, low forward voltage. So of course we have the volume and fuzz knob, but instead of having a tone switch like that was found on the uh, Univox Super Fuzz, we went for a bridged T filter and we'll give you a sound of that. So with the tone knob all the way down to nothing. Then we'll put it up at noon. And then all the way to full. Back to zero. Increase it. So that's the sound of the tone knob. As of the clipping knob, this is something we added where it's a hard clipping set of diodes, shocky diodes in this case, and we have a resistor uh, before it reaches ground on those uh, diodes. So with that, we control with that potentiometer the resistance on the clipping. So here's what the clipping set to zero. Slowly increasing it. Now it's a new. Now it's a max. Between the clipping and the tone, you can do a lot by adjusting what the tone of your sound sounds like. So we're gonna dial the tone back down to zero. output of the first gain stage before it goes into the doubler and going into the clipping. So if I turn the fuzz all the way down to, we'll say, 8 o'clock. And this is with the tone maxed and with the clipping at max. If I bring up the fuzz knob. So let's quickly go over the schematic for the meat grinder fuzz. Okay, fine. So during the boring parts, just scream outlaw country. Yeah, absolutely not. First, we have this bleeder resistor, which then goes into a electrolytic capacitor uh, that is used to remove the DC voltage going into this next stage, which is a gain stage that's acting like a really crude op amp. Uh, this stage is very similar to a fuzz phase topology, but for a discrete transistor gain stage, actually has a moderate amount of input impedance and plenty of gain. Then it leaves this electrolytic capacitor, and because of the large amount of gain leaving this crude op amp, He has said that twice already! You're just now getting this? We control it with this 50k linear pot labeled fuzz. This then goes into our next section, a push-push amp frequency doubler. The push-push amp allows for a fully active full wave rectifier. BJT splitter here, Q3, roughly gives unity gain of AC signals of opposing polarity, one on this line and one on this line. And then following the transistor pair of Q4 and Q5, these both rectify and amplify the combined signals. This topology right here is notable for providing gain and plenty of it during this rectification. What? After this stage, we then arrive at the hard clipping stage where we use two low forward voltage shocky diodes going to ground. However, unlike the super fuzz, we can control the amount they go to ground via this 10k clipping potentiometer being used as a variable resistor. 
After the clipping, this enters the bridged T filter to provide a scoop sound or a flat sound, which can then be dialed in with this 10K potentiometer being used again as a variable resistor. Lastly, using this 50K potentiometer to control the volume, the signal leaves the final transistor amplifier stage to provide a decent amount of output impedance. And that's pretty much how this works. So here we have the tone response of the Meek Grinder Fuzz, which is primarily controlled by the tone knob around the bridge T filter. So here you can see we have more of a scooped sound, which is typical of the Univox Super Fuzz, dipping at around eh, 1.4 kilohertz. While here we see a more flat response when the tone knob is set to max. Did we have to go to that tone already? You start off so nice! Look. You'll also note that a lot of amplification is occurring right here at the 300 hertz and above frequencies, delivering that harsh octave up fuzz sound. As we mentioned in the build doc, uh, if you change the values for R22 and R23, the increasing of those resistance values will shift the scoop point back towards the base frequencies. And if you reduce the resistance of those two resistors, that will shift the scooping response more into the treble. So that pretty much does it for what's going on underneath the hood of this pedal. And that's also it for this video. So if you like these kind of videos, press that like button. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. If you'd like to support us, please visit our website, www.diyguitarpedals.com.au, and check out our PCBs, parts, and kits, as that will definitely help. I especially want to bring attention to this project, the Meat Grinder Fuzz, which is a particularly fun pedal to build and play. Stan, don't you know the first law of physics? Anything that's fun costs at least $8. I will leave a link for that in the description below. Anyways, that's it for now. Thanks for watching. Cheers.